welcome back to the Godot Report. So this past year has been historical, to say the least. And as you can imagine, this affected many things, including Godot's growth. Let's look at some data from Google Trends. Here at the beginning of 2020, you can see a huge spike in growth, and then it normalized again to its previous rate. This graph demonstrates the growth on the Godot subreddit. This one is not as obvious, but the beginning of 2020 shows a steeper growth. Godot itself doesn't have telemetry, and in the interest of user privacy, the devs have stated that there are no plans to add telemetry that's enabled by default. So Godot's growth always has to be measured by these secondary sources. Here's some other stats from the past months. According to Tux Family, there have been over 600,000 unique visitors to Godot's website, with a peak of 19,000 active users. And from the Godot website and Steam, Godot has been installed an estimated 2 to 4 million times. There's a new Godot showcase. This time they interviewed Louis Durant, otherwise known online as Carrot Cake, about their game The Garden Path. They described their vision for the Garden Path as a relaxed, whimsical social sim. Something slow-paced that you can put on a podcast alongside, or just soak in the atmosphere. Something I found particularly interesting was that they went to school for graphic design, and I think this strong art background really shows in their game. And only after graduating did they decide they would commit to learning programming so that they could better make games with Godot. I will link the full interview down in the description. A user by the name of Free Fly Fall has been working on a rigid body controller for Godot. And when we say controller in this instance, we're talking about a character controller, or in other words, the player's body in the game. Normally, character controllers are done with kinematic bodies, as this allows you to fully customize their behavior and get the exact game feel you're after. However, by using a rigid body, the player will respond naturally to outside physics forces. The player can push objects, be pushed by objects, or even ride other objects with no extra code, since all of that is being handled by Godot's physics engine. The rigid body controller comes with velocity limits, so you can limit how fast the player can run, but it's still possible for something in the game world to push them beyond that velocity limit. The rigid body controller is still under development, but I figured getting more eyes on the project could help. This Visual Shader Node Library add-on adds nodes that you can use with the Visual Shader Editor. It comes with a Screen Space Refraction node, a Read Normal Map node, various Noise nodes, Signed Distance Field Operator nodes, and some other generally useful helpers. You can find it in the Godot Asset Library. Gonkaholic showed off some XCOM 2 style pathfinding he made in Godot. It's done by using grid maps and Godot's A-star pathfinding. Here is a very realistic looking ice effect for plane meshes. It uses parallax to create that 3D effect. Pixelizer is a screen shader that allows you to pixelize a scene along with hue shift and dithering. Casper Franzen shared a preview of this cellar scene made with Godot 3.3's baked lighting. Match Day Soccer 21 is a retro pixel soccer game. The game will feature a whole database of fictional teams and players. You will be able to trade your players and play leagues in a calendar year. Conquest is an online, open-source strategy game, similar to Risk. The Ballad of Bonky is a bouncy arcade adventure. Whack your enemies to shoot them bouncing around the room like bullets. Fight cute evil baddies and epic bosses to solve puzzles and uncover the truth, alone or together with a friend. Banana Guy wakes up and sees his banana is missing. Make your way through a colorful world filled with hard but fun challenges. Unlock new power-ups to make Banana Guy's moveset grow. Retrieve your lost banana and consume it in the comfort of your home.
Earth is Flat is a puzzle platformer game where your player moves inside the surface of a cube. Find your way to the next level, turn on sources, connect wires, to reach the goal, and of course, don't forget to paint the floor. That's all for you this week. Like the video? Leave a comment for the algorithm. Thanks for watching.